group aim just talking about uh, Dubai and uh, <laughs> ladies of the night. Uh, just trying to work out which mm. ones to pay, which ones not to. But mm. it's, 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 it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Because I'm going to Dubai tomorrow, and uh, the, the running joke is that every time I meet a girl in Dubai, she's uh, she's a lady of the night. Mm. Options well, open, Simo, right? You said. I'm just poor at the moment, mate. Why is it game on, son? Put yeah, some I mean. 20s, put some 20s down your knickers, you'll be alright. <laughs> I've tried that card. <laughs> I mean, 20 dirhams isn't much money. Is it not? <laughs> it's, it's, it's nothing at all. Uh, right, look, at, great weekend of rugby league. Three games on Sky. I thought there only were two games on Sky, Keith. Can you enlighten us? I think they're doing every Catalan games now is on Sky, isn't it? Yes, and we all had it. We all research. <laughs> right, yeah, and we all had a big, uh, a big debate about the clock because it seemed as though they had different roles and they were playing, playing 90 minutes. Uh, but it's because the Sky clock doesn't stop. For, for, he's not uh, with the French. With the French uh, stop clock, so that's why the sky clock keeps going, and yeah. their stop, their, their timekeeper obviously stops it. So there was a big debate on it. I think everybody got involved in it. You, you didn't because you must have been busy. I put, I put the the original picture out saying, why is it eight six minutes? Am I just being stupid? <laughs> I, th I felt a bit <laughs> daft as well when I'm like thinking, uh, looking at it, going, what's going on here? But Callum turned up. And we're not starting there. We'll, we'll get on. No, to so I'll let you leave with it because we do this game review every week. We'll look back on the weekend and we'll play once. Yeah, we'll, 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 this is going to take a long time. Is this game no, review? Yeah. No, no. no, this this one this is. It's Hull FC uh, nil with the seven. Mm. Gavs, were you there? I was. Yeah, yeah. Bad, bad conditions. Just, it was bad conditions. Just tell us what Radders did after the game. He lost his <laughs> cool. He lost his cool. Yeah, he, uh, he wasn't very happy. He did, did he? Did he threaten to take some of you outside? Yeah, Show yeah, the boxing yeah. skills. Oh, is it no it classic? Off. No, it went nuts. <laughs> but, yeah, but he had every right to, you know. I think, I think what it was, the, it was the performance, you know, the boys, they didn't play with enough heart. I think that's that's all he wants from the team. Mate, you know? he is a legend. I yeah, remember when Jordan were there, went out with him a couple of times. What a nice bloke. Absolute lovely bloke. And he battered Keith in boxing. So, for me, he's twice the man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he, won't, he, won't, he wasn't really happy, you know. And, well, rightly so, he's spent a lot of money, they've got people here and they've done all sorts of things, you know, to try and change it, what's been on it the last few years and uh, to get a result like that it's, it's just, yeah, it's not very happy Well, w one thing that someone t said to me about birds is never go back but you've gone back to Hull how is yeah. it second time round? Different, there's a few boys there that, that were there last time, but yeah, it's, it's like being at a new club, you know, there's people have gone from uh, from up above where, you know, the reason I left so it's <laughs> that's probably why I went allowed back uh, but yeah, it's you know it's it's different. It's as a senior player as well. You come back all quite young when I was there before. So as you get older, you seem to you know take a bit more authority and, and, and you know give a bit more input. So it's it's good. I'm enjoying it and uh, just need to get playing now. Can you elaborate on that though, please, guys? That's on on the powers above and why you no. can't go back. No. <laughs> no, I have to sign something. <laughs> how's, how's Rad has been as an head coach? Obviously, it's his first year as head coach. I'm I'm really happy for him. He got the job because he couldn't meet anyone more whole. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, he's, you're right with that. He's he wears his uh, heart on his sleeve, and he's but he, the lads want to play for him. They've got respect for him. They've seen how he plays. They're scared of tough. him. Yeah, well, maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> But you know they, they want to play for him. That's the uh, that you know that's that's the main driving force behind the team. But you know that that's what was so disappointing that he took it personally. You know that, that the boys didn't perform for him, and, and you know that's that's the way he is. So it's you know he's a great coach. He's he's a young coach. He's got Andy Last there as well, and um, you know I think I think there's a lot to come. Definitely. Do, do you think you're going to top top eight, top four, top two? Oh. Too early to say, isn't it? I don't it's know. never too early to say. Guys. He's, got to put, <laughs> he's got to put it out there, mate. Yeah, we want to be in that top eight, definitely. Yeah, definitely. But you know, there's, uh, there's a few good teams out there. I'm surprised. Looking good this year, Cass, yeah, Cass, Cass Salford. Yeah, yeah, you see, cause, well, Salford have done a bit. You know, a bit under the radar, aren't they? They've not not performed. I think with the money they've spent, I don't think they've. Well, cool Cash, he's not happy with how they've performed. But I think there's, you know, once you, they've signed, I think 13 players, so it's it's, it's difficult to gel straight away you know and I've I played with Rangi Chase and he, he sort of does his own thing so it's hard to run off him and you know people need to learn how to play with one another so it's, it, I think once the weather gets a bit better and once they you know gel a bit more I think, uh, I think they'll be up there sort of definitely. Keithy? 
I'm just happy that you've had that conversation for so long because I said before this game review for the whole game, we're limited on the resources that we have and if you look on the internet and the, and the game review and the, and the highlights is one try and one drop goal, that is a full yeah, game well. review so that's what I've been working with. Yeah. No, we were bombed, I think we were bombed about eight tries, you know, one of those, one of those games that it could have been, it could have been 30, 30 points to seven but, you know, it's, it's ifs and buts and, and at the end of the day, the skill wasn't there, and you know we, we became croppers. It was just, yeah, it's just it was disappointing. But you know, as a game to watch, um, quite exciting. Was know. was the defence good, or was it just a lack of yeah, like no, say, finishing yeah, off the, and scale? Yeah, a bit, a bit of both to be honest. You know, defences were on top. Uh, that were conditions. Um, you know, a bit wet and what have you. But yeah, it was it was just the skill. You know, there were a lot of lads that were disappointed with how they played. Witness were over the moon with how they played. Uh, they're going to be, but you know, it's uh, it's one of those things. Did you, were you shocked at the length of Kev Brown's neck? Yeah, and the size of his head. It's tiny, really isn't it? Small, yeah. It's like yeah. an avatar <laughs> with a P on his head. Correct. Yeah, did giraffe, did giraffe Aaron or Carroll play? No, no, he's, he's not played for a bit, has he? I don't know, is he injured? Or? Both work. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, yeah, you've got a point there. Yeah, that's why I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> What's it's only 98 <laughs> kilos. <laughs> We're 90 kilos. Chew it up to see them one tiny, doesn't it? It's them glasses, lad. Yeah, get them fish finger sandwiches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we, it, we, it was one of those games that, you know, it was just, it was just disappointing for us, but obviously winning us over the moon and what can you do? Who have you got next? Uh, Salford, and then Oof. we've got Salford in the cup the week after, so it's... Uh, yeah, might not, might fly that car to close to our chest. What, and when's the big man back? I'll be back for the second one, I'll be back for the cup. It's my, my cup, isn't it? What is this? You know what I mean? How many, <laughs> how many times have you won Challenge Cup? Um, when was your home oh, ground? Oh, All times? Think, yeah, I think, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's far, yeah. Which one would be sweetest? Um, the first one, I've got to say. Did you play in that, Pete? Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, yeah. I didn't actually play in that game, I just turned up and went out on pitch for half an yeah. hour. No, you, 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 you did well to play really, didn't you? You had a bad ankle. That was the, uh, that was the thing, wasn't it? Is that why you played like that? Definitely, that, that was the best one, the first one. Um, we were massive underdogs and you know, it was such a tight game. And the way we'd sort of come through the cup, you know, playing big team, I think we beat Saints in the semi, so it was, you know, it was, it was hard work and, you know, I thought, I thought at the end to get a win against the Leeds team that was pretty much dominant, you know, it was, uh, yeah. Was that 2005? Yeah. I was there for that, watching that Cardiff. Yeah, yeah. Who, who do you spot, Kel? I don't really spot anyone, but I remember that game because I went as, uh, me and my best mate went as Batman and Robin. Yes. So we went down there the day before and had a few beers and uh, was in this local pub with, in our outfits on the on game day, I think it was a Saturday afternoon, like a three o'clock kickoff or whatever. And we're in this pub, had a few too many beers, and the guy said, aren't you supposed to be at that game today at Cardiff? You've been going, I said, yeah, well, he said it's like five past three. I was like, oh. So we ran out running down the street. And it's about like a two-mile walk from this pub where it was. Anyway, this riot van drove past, and we had cans in our hands. The riot van pulled over, and I thought, we're going to get done here, because that um, van had just come out yeah, yeah. where you can't drink in public. Anyway, this uh, police van pulled up. I said, where are you going, lads? I said, to the game. He said, well, get in, we'll give you a lift. <laughs> so we goes down, they put the lights on, we drove straight to the game, they got us straight through, and it would have looked comical, you know, Batman and Robin getting out. The police car. <laughs> and then we got there, watched the game, it was, it was, you know, it was a good game. Obviously, I'm not really a fan of, uh, of any particular team. Um, I just like the game, and it was, so I wasn't really too well about the result. And then afterwards, we managed to blag our way into the uh, players' lounge and VIPs and that. So they said, you know, do you want to come up? I was like, yeah. So we're there, everyone's in, in suits and everything, and we walk in, we're back with a Robin. But I had a few beers, so I won't really too, but I think I remember shaking hands with Richard Lewis at the time, like the chief exec of, of uh, you know, the, uh, the RFL, dressed as, uh, dressed as Robin. He's Not even Batman. He's doing all right now. He's Wimbledon top one. He's uh, Richard Lewis. Tennis man now. Cavs, you, you're pretty connected, you know, like, cool. obviously with, the, with Simon Moran. And, oh, uh, yeah. what, what's the best freebie you've had off Simon Moran? Um, the one you've got me oh, in a few weeks is all right, isn't it? The brown yeah, bags. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, he, he, he sorts out everybody with sort of the concert. Obviously, a massive name in concerts and things. He's so, a man. So everything that we went to was all laid on, free beer, everything like that. V Festival, you know, VIP and all that sort of thing. We're good. He's good. He looks after the boys. But, 
I think there's been a bit bit of a pullback on that. The, uh, a few of them was selling, basically selling, Ooh. selling the tickets. You know, getting them off Simon and uh, and selling them for for a profit. How dare they? How dare they? They're not getting How? paid enough. That's why. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Keith would never do anything like that. You wouldn't, would you? Sell freebies. <laughs> never do yeah, that. No, no. Kelvin, obviously you're a, you're you're a bit of a star. And um, what's the best freebie you've ever had? The uh, best freebie. Um, this t-shirt's up there. Yeah. <coughs> Large boy. says it's free. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Once you've got it on that seat, you've got to pay for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's obviously like uh, guys say. It's always nice to get some uh, perks of the job, I suppose, and various uh, little freebies, but. Um, they're always a bonus and you can't always count them because when, when you do think they're going to come and they don't come, it's always uh, a little bit disappointing. So, yeah, you just got to, everyone's a bonus, really. So when you get something free, then and take it and uh, always always say thanks, I suppose. Mate, never look a gift horse in the mouth. That's what the mum says. Well, true, yeah. yeah. I keep the T-shirt, though. For you, you can keep it. I, w- I want, I want, I want you a signed... You definitely want something in return. I want a signed, naked, aiming or picture. <laughs> Can you do that? Or you someone do that? Will be, someone will be in touch. What's your, what's your favourite? What's your favourite farm animal? Farm animal? Um, don't know. I think uh, I think the big bulls are up there, aren't they? You know, big big beasts. Do, do you and work with any dominating live cattle? figures? Do you work with any live cattle? Uh, yeah, obviously. When when, when we when we're working on the farm, all the livestock is real, so sheep and cows and all that. Have you ever fed a horse? Have you fed a horse? Oh, grass, yeah. You got, you got to hold your hand flat, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Just thumb, thumb can go, okay. Your thumb can go. Yeah, your thumb can go. <laughs> you do not want to lose your thumb. Yeah, no, no. Keep your hand flat. Keep it flat, Kelvin. That's it. A few shades of grass there. Have, have, you, have you had horse. any boo boos with any live cattle work? Have you had any like nightmares working on the farm? Uh, there's been a few a few nightmares. Obviously, um, I always remember the guy who played uh, who played Jack Clive, uh, great bloke. And he always used to say, you know, he always said, don't work with children or animals. And that's all he ever worked with while he was in Emmerdale because <laughs> he had me as a young kid. And obviously, all the animals. So now it's always funny times when the the cows can randomly do a do a turn in the middle of a shot and things like that. But the crew will laugh. And at the end of the day, you've got a job too, so you just get on with it, really. But yeah, there's some comical bits, really. I love it. Just, just playing all day. Just pretending. It's like pretending it. Oh, yeah, pretending to be someone else, yeah. Because you know it's not real, Emmerdale, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you said like you don't watch it. I kind of feel like it is, though, because you've been there so long, and it's like, it's, I just feel like sometimes things become real. Does that make sense? No. no. Not at all, no. <laughs> no. It does to me. Is that it as well? Do you always, does everybody shout you by, uh, by your screen there? Yeah, suckers. yeah. So there's not Andy in the street. Andy, Andy, you know, I always get that. And uh, even people I know quite well will, will sometimes say Andy by mistake because I've done it myself. I've been to, you know, awards dudes and that. <laughs> you look in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, watch yourself. Look in the mirror. Right, man, man. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been to dudes and that and I've seen someone in Korea or whatever. And, and you know, you, you do. It's really easy to call them by the character name because even though we do see these people at the functions and that, you, you only see them as the characters. So I've done that myself. So it never really, it doesn't ever, you know, offend me or anything like that when someone calls me Andy and, and I've done it in the streets sometimes when I'm walking down and someone shouts Andy and I've turned around and they've kind of thought, why is he turning around? <laughs> what about that guy called Andy, you know, so if I just hear it now, I just t- tend to ignore it. Who was your best mate in Soapland? In Soapland? Um, I've, got, I've, I've got a few good uh, good mates, really, um, over the years, especially at Emmerdale, obviously, working there with uh, the likes of Jim Hooten, who plays Sam Dingle, he's a great guy, um, Adam Thomas, uh, a few of the new lad. boys. Yeah, he's, th- he's a great lad. And there is, you know, the, some of the girls as well. Laura, who plays Kerry. I was working with her for quite a while, the, the mother in the mother-daughter scenario. Um, but n- <laughs> Tidy <laughs> milk. No, nah, there is some... Um, it's like any place to work. There's people you, you really gel with and uh, people, you know, probably not so much. But, um, yeah, you know, we, we do have our socials when we get a chance to go around Leeds and wherever, have a few beers and let your eye down as such. So it looks a bit weird, I think, when there's a load of actors in, the, in a bar. You know, you walk into some sort of bar in, in, uh, in Leeds. You see all the cast of Emmerdale that looks a little bit surreal. Right, do you think, it's like, I, 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 can, I really think Kel should be sorting his out like, like background roles in Emmerdale. <laughs> what do you reckon? It, it could be happening, couldn't it? I reckon I so. Gary Connor has been on Emmerdale, hasn't he? In, in the Wolfpack. Oh, was it? Many years ago, it was, uh, they, they had a rugby scene, I think they had Martin Afire and, Martin Afire and Gary Connolly. I beat Gary Connolly at arm wrestle once. Yes. Yeah, he was yeah, classed as the strongest man, upper body strength in rugby yeah, league, well, according it? to Steve <laughs> 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 Exactly, exactly. 
They no, smell out the strongest of there, there was there was a thing that, he, that Gary Connor was was his thing was arm wrestling. Oh, it was yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, like, yeah. And I, I got him when he was absolutely bladdered. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> After a, a York Nine tournament, I was up with Barry McDermott and I played. I was absolutely terrible. And uh, we all went out afterwards. And uh, yeah, I was yeah, there. His with nickname is Gary Raga. But I'll take that though. I beat I beat Gary Connolly arm wrestling. Yeah, that's 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 that needs One to be your, your, on your Twitter. <laughs> forget everything else. That's this. Kelvin Fletcher. I beat Gary Connolly in an arm wrestle. Done. Strongest yeah. upper body strength in the league. Yeah, well they got they got shown didn't they? Second. Do you, second, yeah. do you play? Do you play? But are you a bit of a rugby league player? Have you played much? Uh, as a kid, I played. Yeah. Um, my local team was Oldham St Anne's. I'm obviously from Oldham, so. Uh, but when I got to like 15, 16, and I was obviously in Emmerdale, the game gets a bit tougher there, so the chances of getting broken limbs and uh, black eyes and broken noses obviously it affect my, my day job being a being the Ponzi actor I am, so I couldn't really go into work with a black eye. Um, so I've not, never, not played since, certainly at you know, open age level. I've been lucky enough to play the, the odd exhibition game and um, testimonial game and stuff, and uh, through the summer me and a few boys always play a bit of tag. But... Um, yeah, I'm a great, obviously great, great fan of the sport. And when I can get a chance to play, I think we played Leeds actually last year. The Emmerdale played like a, a charity tag game against Leeds Rhinos, which was pretty good. Keith, you didn't play in that. It was a few of the younger boys, I think. It was, uh, I just put the step on the one. <laughs> they were scared, yeah. You heard about your arm wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> He's eight size of his chest now. <laughs> He's a monster. All right, Keith, let's move on to one of Cavs' older clubs. Yeah, moving on to Warrington 4, Wigan 12. Uh, Warrington, I think, really struggling at the moment. O'Brien and Myra, not really clicking at the moment. I think they're missing the big guns with Gaz Carvel. Well, I was going to say that, yeah. And also Moz as well, you know, somebody giving them some direction. I don't, I don't get it. Why would you get rid of your four most experienced players in an off-season Cavs? Mm, I don't know, to be honest. Did they get rid of it or did you leave? Yeah, no, no. No, I wanted to stay. Um, but, you know, it was... It's all right, mate. Yeah, no. It's all right. I'll cry later. It's all right. No, it happens to us all. Like, you get to a like. certain age, don't you? <laughs> Only 28. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it was one of those, it was one of those things, you know. I spoke to him, uh, and yeah, I didn't want to keep me. So yeah, they, they have lost. They've lost did you look at him and go, what? Yeah, I did. Who makes those decisions? Me. Is it, is it the him, like, chief yeah. exec or the coach? No, no, Smith, Simon, right? Simon. Simon what was we call him by his name, him. were they? Him. <laughs> 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 no, Simon. Simon used to sign players, but um, you know, every, everything goes through Tony now. So he's uh, he's his squad now, and you know, we'll uh, we'll see how they come this year. Yeah, he's, he, he, you know, he, he plays a lot of mind games and things. Just Tony is, uh, you know, he's really sort of you can't knock Tony for the key. I know, I know what he's, I know what he, you know, what every, he means. Every, he's, uh, yeah, every day is a test. You know, yeah. he's one of those guys you'll be doing something in weights and you might miss a set, and all of a sudden he's like, like a wizard just popping up. Harry Potter. Where's he come from? Where's Tony Potter. From, yeah. But yeah, it's. Uh, you know, I think I think they'll come, but it's it's like you say, the the halfbacks and things are a bit, you know, they're, they're struggling at the minute. Bree is, is a big loss, but um, you know, give them time. I think when uh, Matty Russell came on at fullback and they moved Stephen Ratchford up to up to six, I think they they got a little bit more shape and a little bit more organisation. Yeah, yeah he's a good player. He's a good player, Matty Russell. He'll, he'll offer a lot, you know. And, but like you say, the, the experience that they've lost in Hodgson at the back was Hodgson was, was class, immense. Wasn't it? Yeah. He, for the size of him and things, you know, don't men mention God and tell us to him or whatever you do. Well, hey. They don't like it. <laughs> he got absolutely that? ragged him. <laughs> yeah. When he ragged him like yeah, a little Yeah, he loves yeah. 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 you know, no, yeah. mentioning that, yeah, yeah. we talk about it every day. But yeah, <laughs> but, but for the frame of him and everything, you know, he's, he's organising and he'd pop up at the right time. and He's, he's kicking. Yeah, they, exactly. They between Breeze and Hodgson, you didn't miss money. And now yeah. they can't seem to kick through. Anything. No, they've not really got a recognised goal kicker, which, you know, at the end of the day, it can, it can win all of your game, so that's something they need to sort out. I think Ben Westwood can kick. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> mate, my <laughs> mate. Yeah. He loves Emmerdale, doesn't he? He does, he does, he My new best mate is uh, oh, Benny Ayer, uh, yeah. I met him a few times, but I saw him over in Oz. He was, he was there, obviously, with Warrington. Yeah, he's a good bloke, isn't he? Yeah, he's a great bloke, yeah. And, yeah uh, he got his mad on the Oz, didn't he? Yeah, we, he, he kept coming over saying, oh, you know, I proper love, proper love Emmerdale, isn't it? Did he? Sam, he Sam was recording him, I does. think, on the sly. He was saying, oh, so what do you think of Kelvin? And it was, he was like, it was, on the, it was when they were playing for England at World Cup. They were travelling somewhere. And Sam was recording him saying, so what do you think of Kelvin? Like, he was winning last night. I went down to see him, and, and so he was saying, oh, well 
God, he's like proper tiny in real life, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Good old Benny. So we're happy about that. People, people on TV are generally smaller, though. I, that's what I find. I, I've seen a lot of little people on TV. Have you ever met any boy bands? You always find that they're really, really small. The camera adds 10 pounds. So like that's why we're still on radio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like when, I'm on Sky, when I'm playing on Sky, there's, there's about 10 cameras there. That's why I look... So <laughs> <Huge>. <laughs> That's what it is. Not to do with the fact that you are. <laughs> no, no, no. Definitely not. Chewie, how much does uh, Brit Hodgson wear? Approximately. <laughs> yeah. Approximately in, in Two Dog Land, how does it. Yeah. <laughs> if Gals Carver was 98, he must be about 30 kilos. <laughs> yeah, we're going we're gonna to say about 40, 45. 40, yeah, like yeah. a small child. Thank you, I think he feels yeah. about 40 kilos. He's eight. <laughs> We're getting bouncing back. He's, he's just your son, so he's a big lad, isn't he? He's a, he's a unit, mate. For his age, he's a big lad. Have you seen the video from Sunday? I saw, I saw him singing yeah. the song, Heads on Fire. Yeah, Tom Jones' his song. It, what's that? Yeah. Song. I'll show you. You're an ex-stand man, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah so you'll, you, you'll, you'll love the video. I'll show you at the next break. Well, I might even try and play it out over the radio for the lads. Right, look forward to that. <laughs> it's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> right, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I'll, come I'll on, boys. Back, come back. <laughs> Yeah, Come on, daddy, aren't you? <laughs> Come on, Keith, get on with your job, yeah. Did you get player at Most Improved Player as well? Most Improved Player, yeah. Uh, updates on, on Twitter and Facebook. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I'm coaching Stanley under eights. I'm, I'm loving a bit of responsibility and like, helping the boys. I, I'm, I'm that parent. Coach Simmons. Who gets, I'm, I take every, you know, I'll say serious. Look, look how serious I take it now, yeah? I take things seriously, <laughs> right? And it's important to me that they win. What are the team socials like? Actually, on Sunday, on Sunday we had a boat race. We had one drinking games afterwards. <laughs> Roll <Roma Cola. laughs> juice, yeah, we juice. But we're going to have a team feed this week. I think it's important that the boys get the mentality right from a young age. I've got them gang tackling. The, the boys are pointing up in tackles. Mate, they're on it. I'm not, I'm not pointing up in tackles, you're just pointing up to show the abuse to the opposition. Just pointing up, my man, my man, my man. <laughs> Where's the fun gone? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen it. Tony Carroll? I'm from the book of Tony Carroll. Oh, <laughs> coaching that, coaching by Tony Carroll, quality. <laughs> Keith, who, who's next? Looking at Leeds, Leeds London game. Uh, massive win for the Rhinos. Leeds 54, London 6. Uh, 34 0 at half time. Brad Singleton getting the first try. Oh, You'd have had some great odds on him for uh, you know what the book is. Uh, you know, so great for the youngsters to get over. Rhino hat trick, first half hat trick. Uh, a little bit of a conversation. About the the back four at uh, at Leeds, uh, and it, it's done him good to to either get the rest or get dropped. A uh, bit debatable what it was, but you know bouncing back for the hat trick. You know it's it's great that there's that competition for places. Question for you, Keith. Go on, big dog. Mags and Burrow, or Sinfield and Mags, or Sinfield and Burrow. What's the best combination? I'd have uh, Mags and Burrow. So would I. Kelvin at thirteen. Uh, <clears throat> don't know, I quite like uh, Roberto um, coming from dummy half as a little looker and that. Obviously, he's uh, might struggle in defence and I have to put him wide, but um, no, I quite like his diet and runs and that. Um, big fan of Sinfield as well, so I think any position. He, his 13 is more like a, a 6 anyway, you know. Um, I know some coaches play 13s as, as another prop, but um, I think wherever he plays, 6 or, or, or a 13, it's the same kind of job. Okay, yeah, absolutely, you reckon? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd play him at 6, like, like Kelvin see it's the same. It's the same position for Kev, you know, he plays 13, 6, wherever he's, he's, he bosses it, doesn't he, he organises it, drives the team around the field, so, yeah, he's, I'll play him at 13, no, I'll play him at 10, play him no <laughs> <laughs> see, what he's, see what he's really like, see, see how good looking he's after that, <laughs> let's ask, let's ask the, the number one Leeds Rhinos fan in the world, Go on, Tyre, Bradford, <laughs> Bradford's fan now, is <laughs> yeah. Carl Ablett right. signing for Bradford, <laughs> who, Carl Ablett, no, <laughs> gotta take him with <laughs> how, yeah. do you, how do you? How do you? team did this weekend, Ty? Give us your little review because it was a terrible game. Which one, Bradford? No, Leeds. <laughs> I didn't watch it. I was, <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Calls himself a fan. Calls, calls <laughs> himself a fan. He's not I a was, fan. He is the Leeds number one fan. Yeah. South stand. I was out. Is it? Have you not got Sky Plus? Stats. Yeah, but I haven't watched it yet. He's, he, he comes in here, starts to quick players. You just seen him when Sam just came in here like. I can't believe Sam Burgess is here. Loving it. I'm more excited about seeing Andy Sugden. Love him, idea. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that this week. I, I see Zach Dingle lives at the top of my road and 
Every time I see him, like Zach. All right. <laughs> Steady on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You might want to watch what you're driving I'm on like, tonight. I like Zach. I'm like Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Proper creepy, that one, eh? <laughs> what, what does he, he say back to that? He never. He doesn't see me behind bush. <laughs> Move with swiftly on. Cattle on. No, we're still talking about the Leeds game. Uh, Phil Clark, I, I liked his little comment about uh, London. Where would um, most of play the balls, though? Where do they play the balls <laughs> happen? You've got a look at Phil Clark. You've got look I hope I don't sound him. like him. He can yeah. waffle him, can't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, Definitely. Yeah, yeah he's, a, he's a big statistician. Uh, I'm going to go some stats. K- Kelvin played. Scotty Moore. Don't you think he's a skinny Scotty Moore? <laughs> <laughs> Had a bit of a debate with him on Twitter. He said, try and hold, didn't he? Yeah, I know. Nasty piece of work. You got in the league weekly this week. because the tweet of the week. Did I? Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> How are you? I'm still in there. <laughs> <laughs> They've not forgotten about me. Yeah. <laughs> Meterage uh, for Leeds. 1,622. London made 1,097. So a massive uh, game for, for the Meterage. Also, Phil Clark said London will get better uh, because they've got time to gel for the game, but most teams will. Uh, yeah. But also, you've got to think if Leeds were missing Briscoe, JP, Bailey, Delaney, Moon and Sinfield. You know, so if you think them to come back against London, then you, you've got to add another 20 points. Were, so. were everyone just uh, resting for this week's game against Saints? Was that what, 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 is that the inside info from the club? I don't have inside information for you, sir. So Max, best mate, are you? <laughs> well, that's that's what it is. If if you've got that chance, you know, like JP has been playing some big minutes. Uh, Kevin's, put, you know, with the international as well, he's playing forty close to fifty games a season. So if you've got that chance against some of the lesser teams to give them a week off, why why not take it? You know, so I think it was a very wise decision, and still showed, you know, to still win the game fifty four six. Love you, Mac. <laughs> Let me coach, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need him. Down at Sheffield coaching. And you won, you had a big win this week. Massive win. Sheffield killing it. Massive win, absolutely surprised me as well. (laughs) 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 Yeah, because they've not been going the best and they know that, so very good performance against Dewsbury. Dewsbury, how did you rate Dewsbury Wagger? Did he play well? Well, I get, you know, he kept on getting knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> he got knocked out twice in that game. Big cut above his head. Yeah. Absolutely legend. Uh, Dowsy, Dowsy's there as well. Dowsy's, Dowsy's, Dowsy's well playing. Yeah, he signed a juice. No man. way. Yeah, 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 he's down there. Trying to get back into Super League as well. Yeah, he can yeah, keep yeah, trying. <laughs> <laughs> the big cow. <laughs> yeah, they need a prop now that they've got. <laughs> yeah, no, well, you know, I, I think he's, uh, his intention is to, to go and play at Bradford, so, you know, what's his space? He's... Uh, Obviously he retired, and then he's. Uh, I spoke to him, and said, "You know, you're a long time retired, mate. Have another dig, and that's what he's doing." So. Yeah, that's it. He's got to prove himself with Jude. Yeah. Yeah, I had a quick chat with him at the game, also. Young Price as well. He, he didn't he didn't make the game. He declared himself fit, but he uh, he's, he's, he's saving him for this week. Price he's, Price is is lean now. Because you know why he he's is? lean. I know. He's a postman. <laughs> that's what it is. He's 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 I thought he walked him. He's looking in great shape. Him. Tom, to Tommy G's still uh, a big mess. <laughs> Tommy G. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Forgot G's to take his tackle suit off. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Two Spoons. Tommy, yeah. <laughs> Tommy Ten Spoons. Good old Tommy, yeah. He has milk and Maltese for breakfast. <laughs> he actually does in real life. I thought it was a big joke, and then his last tweet me saying, he actually does. <laughs> it's a problem. Oh. Don't encourage it. Oh, that right, explains well. a lot. That explains a lot, that. Right, Keith, for Catalan, Huddersfield. Yeah, Catalan v Huddersfield. Catalan's 30, Huddersfield 14. Coupon buster. Absolutely devastated again. I had him on my, my Sky Bet, my charity Sky Bet oh on dear. Huddersfield again. Uh, third third week now they've let me down, so that's it. I'm carrying Huddersfield. Could, Huddersfield's right edge of defence, I think, were very sloppy. You know, McGilvery, Kudge, John Robinson. Uh, a lot of the Catalan's uh, tries and breaks came down their side. Don't, don't bag Robbo, he's here next week. Rubble, that's rubble, why I'm not here so Ferris. I can bag him as much as I want. <laughs> Rob was a great player. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. guys. Well, I think that's no, the most disappointing is. thing about Huddersfield. Uh, the way they started the season off against Wigan, uh, the defence was absolutely immense and they showed the intent. And since that game, they've slipped off a little bit. And, you know, for the Catalans, it's their first win of the season. Obviously, it's difficult going to Catalans, but. You know, quite disappointing on the Huddersfield defence and, uh, and the Huddersfield team in general how they've, how they've slipped off the, off the form from the first game. Right, we're going to play a tune now. We're going to play a tune, have a, have a little bit of a break, and then we've got a game. We play loads of games tonight, boys. We've got a game, it's called Try Me Later On, and it'll be Kelvin versus Cavs, 
Right, it's a guessing game, mm. and the, lo the loser. Is there an arm wrestling involved? We can do that. We can do that. The loser. We've that before. Have you <laughs> torn your bicep? Yeah. yeah, it fell off. Yeah. Well, <laughs> shark bite that, shark bite that. Yeah. Yeah. That great white. Yeah. The, yeah. the loser of the game has to let the winner send a tweet off the phone. It's got to stay on there for 24 hours. Will you agree to play the game? Oh, my battery's just died. Oh. <laughs> We've got a charger, don't, don't worry. Don't worry about we that. can log on on computer, don't worry. Yeah, well. Right, we're going to plenty Zach, of Zach, Zach. Pants, <laughs> pants questions, please, tonight. Just get them into us at Rugby. Um, if you've got any problems listening to the show, we have improved ourselves a million percent tonight. The mic, new mics, new all sorts. But if you've got any problems, email chewdog at rugbyam.co.uk. Might take him three weeks to get back to you, but he will eventually. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's a tune. <laughs> 